Alrighty, welcome back to a new set. Something that I've wanted to do since we moved into this space, but I didn't really have the space. So today is going to be a test. Let me know down below what the sort of audio sounds like. I'm relatively close to you guys over there. Anyway, we have my Hawa 300 PRC build that I've been working on. Now you guys would have seen, perhaps you have seen, hopefully you have seen, I did a very different style of video when I was actually building this. I literally, no commentary, nothing. I just played some music and I assembled this guy and the feedback on that video was freaking awesome. So in the future, perhaps I'll do more of these. I need to build my 30 Sherman mag again. So let me know if you guys want to see that video by just saying 30 Sherman mag, yes, in the comments down below. So that would be really cool. Now, one thing that I need to chat about. There's two things that we need to chat about. Number one, when I initially built this, I did not have the scope that I intended to use for this project. My goal was to keep this a budget-ish project. Obviously, it's a Hawa 1500, 300 PRC. This is the 24-inch version. Okay, I couldn't get the 26. 24 is gonna do just fine for what I wanna do. Now, what is the sort of elephant in the room here? Yes, the ESS chassis is not the cheapest chassis in the world, but it's going to be perfect for what I want to use this for. This, however, is where it got really expensive really quickly. Now, I'm in a fortunate position where I have a drawer with some spare scopes, and when I was doing that assembly video, I used the razor. Now, when I outlined this project initially, I knew sort of what I had in mind. I wanted to go Hawa 300 PRC, ESS chassis, Obviously, that is a spendy item, but scope-wise, I wanted to make it something that is still, you know, achievable for the average person. Now, when I did that initial build, I put a razor on it because that is what I had on hand at the time, and I didn't want to pull an optic off another rifle. So that, unfortunately, put it out of most people's budget. However, since that time, I have sourced myself another Strike Eagle because, as you guys know, ever since the Strike Eagle 525 came out, I fell in love with it. I still stick to what I said in this video over here that I would take the Strike Eagle 5 to 25 first focal plane over a PST Gen 2 any day of the week. In fact, I have a PST Gen 2 in the drawer that I'm not selling because every time I say that, somebody wants to buy it. It is there for a backup or a 22 or whatever the case may be. Anyway, I've got a Strike Eagle. Let's put it on. Boom. Okay. So, let me give you a brief overview. We're going to start off, obviously this isn't an MDT ESS chassis. The ESS is the Elite Sniper System. I've chosen FDE. FDE is very popular in South Africa. I have mentioned this before, but at the end of this series, this specific rifle, as it is now, let's, let's try that again. As it is now, is going to be available for one of you guys here in South Africa. If you want, I can even take our laser and put my signature on this for you. So, ESS chassis is going to be the bones of the system. Okay, I've chosen FDE. FDE is probably the most popular color. Some guys asked, what are these things that you put on the side in that initial video? These are weights. Obviously, 300 PRC is a heavy hitter. It's going to shoot a heavy projectile pretty fast, and it's therefore going to have a lot of recoil. So, I wanted to build the setup where I could still enjoy shooting it, so I didn't want to get hammered by the recoil. Obviously, we've got a gigantic muzzle brake on the front. I've got one of our monster Raptors on the front here in stainless steel, which is perhaps a little bit much. It's a bit bling for the setup, so I might just swap that out for a black one. Then I've got some Vortex PMR rings on this, and then the Strike Eagle in Mill or MRAF. MBT mag, as always, this is the 300 Win mag version, so the max cartridge overall length is going to be 3.715. So that is going to be one of our challenges, I believe, when we do load develop for this guy, is we're going to have to seat those bullets in a little bit deeper. The other challenge that I sometimes find with the Hawas is, while the Hawa 1500s are really good value for money, the trigger's garbage. Um, the stock Hawa trigger is really terrible. Now, a friend of mine does some amazing trigger jobs. A few of you guys asked Pete, what are you going to do with the trigger? Are you going to drop in like a trigger tech or something like that? If there was a trigger tech available for this, you would have seen it in the first video. Um, I'd love to drop a trigger tech in this. Unfortunately, that is not an option. Most of the big sort of trigger manufacturers do not make Hawa triggers. There are some aftermarket options. I have tried a few of them. I still prefer the way my friend does the trigger job, so I'm probably just going to have him do one of those on this. 
I've set my length of pull to sort of where I like it. My comb height is where it needs to be. I must admit, I haven't really checked that again since I did the scope flip magic. What's really cool about this Hawa specifically is that they come threaded already, so that saves you a little bit of money. Um, this is threaded 5H24. And this is a very important thing. We often get asked, what muzzle brake can I buy or what silencer can I buy because I don't know what the thread is on my Hawa. If you brought it brand, brand new out the box from a dealer, chances are, and it's threaded by the way, chances are it's going to be 5 8 by 24. That is what the Hawas come as from the factory. I've never ever seen one that has been threaded with something else. Also, notably on the bottom here, we've got an APW Arca rail, and that is just going to make, you know, do me fancy tripod things. And it's going to give me that ability to mount my SkyPod Gen 2. So that pretty much tops off this project. Now, there was two things that I mentioned in the beginning that I will likely change, and a few of you guys picked up on them. Number one was the optic, okay, a little bit out of the price range for most people. But the second thing that really needs to get changed is this, okay, I didn't have a vertical grip. I like the grips that come straight down. I prefer the premier version. So I'm probably gonna swap that out by the next time you guys see this rifle where we head to the range, it's gonna have a straight grip on there because that is just the way I like shooting. And I like setting up all my rifles relatively the same so that I have that consistency and continuity between all of my firearms. And it just, you know, it's a familiar platform. It's easier to shoot that way. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this breakdown of the 300 PRC. What am I planning to do with this? This is basically just a series for YouTube because I know there's so many guys in South Africa that have purchased the 6.5 and the 300 PRC Hawas that I really wanted to do some content for this on you and sort of give you my experience on the Hawas. So if you're waiting for your application or you've recently applied or you've received yours, let me know in the comments down below and perhaps you can follow along with this series and it's going to be a lot of fun. And for me, it's a lot of fun because it really does feel like you know, the start of the channel back in the day. So that is very, very cool. I want to thank our friends at MDT um, for sponsoring today's video. I actually purchased this ESS for this project because I just wanted to get the project moving. My licenses came through way faster than expected. So that was pretty cool. It seems that the police here in South Africa have got their things happening again. So yeah, happy days. Can't complain. Bolt needs a bit of polishing and a bit of oil and stuff like that. I have cleaned this as we did in the previous video. And uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure chamber and do some initial loads for it. And then we'll take it to the range and see what our results are. And then I'll take you guys sort of through what my next steps are after that. So if you've got one of these or a 6.5 PRC or you know of anyone who does, please make sure you share these videos with them. That helps out the channel a lot. And if you're still watching, I thank you very much. Guys, God bless. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Little bit of movie magic. I've changed the scopes. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe, please. That would be appreciated. Then I can do more of these videos for you because it really helps out the channel. Okay, guys. Cheers.